Hello everyone, we will continue the topic hot key in search help and in the previous videos we discussed what is hot key, how it is benefited, what is the shortcut or what is the convention we need to use whenever we are using hot key. We can use hot key, we can use hot key with restrictions also. And I showed you the various permutation and combination. Now what we will do, we start with the practical part of our own and what will be the steps for that practical. Suppose we will go for a requirement. What will be the requirement? We will go for collective search help because we all know whenever we will go for hot key, yes, we will select the elementary search help from the collective search help, it means we need to go for collective search help. So what will be the requirement? We will go for collective search help for sales order number. We'll create our own collective search help. So what will be our first step of the requirement? We will create two elementary or single search help. You all know whenever we want to go for collective search help, the first thing we need to create elementary search help. So we will go for two elementary search help. The first search help will be give the sales order number based upon the user name and we will assign the hot key there. Second search help will be based upon sales document category and we will go for hot key in that elementary search help also. So we will create two elementary search help. One will be based upon username. One will be based upon sales document category. Now what will be the second step? We will simply combine these two elementary search help into one collective search help. It means what will be the second part of the requirement? We will create a collective search help. And what will be the third step? We will call the collective search help in the program and we will see or we will use the hot key to understand the behavior. So this will be our requirement. Firstly, we will create two elementary search help. We will combine those two elementary search help and we will create a collective search help. And in the third step, We'll simply combine, we will simply call the collective search help in the program and we will see the behavior using the hot key. So what I will do, I will go to SC11 transaction code because we all know we can create a search help through SC11 transaction code. So I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will create two elementary search help. Parallelly, I will show you BBAK table also because we are going for sales order number. So ultimately, we will use which table? BBAK. So what I will do? I will create first elementary search help. Suppose I will write Z search help. Suppose I will say for order. It will be based upon what? Username. Suppose I will write ER. I will write Z search help for sales underscore ER. I will go for create. I will go for elementary search help. Now I will simply give the short description. Suppose I will write search help based upon username. I will write search help for sales order. Based upon user name. Now you all know in the selection method, we need to pass the name of the table or name of the view from where we will fetch that data. So what will be the name of the table? BBAA. Suppose I will go for dialog type dialog with value restriction because I want to show you the values also on that dialog pop-up. Yes. So I will go for dialog with value restriction 
Now we will go for pot key because our topic is this only. Suppose for the first search help, pot key is A. Now I will take the various parameters. I will go to search help. I this button. I will take the parameters. Suppose I will go for VBELN, sales order number. And what will be the second parameter? You all know we are going for username. So I will go for ER number. Now, I will simply, simply go for list L pose and S pose. You all know L pose is list position. S pose is screen position. If you want more detailed understanding of all these things, you can refer the videos of search help in a BAP dictionary playlist. Suppose I want, I will take VBELN in screen position also, in list position also. I will take ER num in screen position also, in list position also. Anyways, we are not going for any default value. Yes, whenever you are going for default value, importing must be unticked. So if we take or if we not take, no problem. You can simply sell. Now, now this will play an important role. We are going for search help for sales order number. It means we will only, only export the value of sales order number. We will not export the value of username. So I will simply go for export of sales order number. This you need to take care. Yes. Anyways, we are not going for default value. So in default value, importing must be unticked. So if you are selecting or not selecting, no problem at all. And if you want more detailed understanding, Please, please refer the videos of your search help in the ABAP dictionary playlist. So my first search help is ready. I will simply save. I will save this as a local object and I will activate it. And the important part is you just need to take care about export because ultimately we are exporting the values. We are passing the values. Yes. Now first search help is ready. Now I will create second search help. ZSH sales underscore suppose I will go for VB type. Second search help will be based upon sales document category. I will create. I will go again go for elementary search help. Now I will give the short description. Suppose I will write search help for sales order based upon document category. We have same to same selection method, VBAK. And now I will take that dialog type, dialog with value restriction, and I will take the hot key as P subs. Now I will go for search help parameter. Yes. VBELN is we need to take now this time I will take VB type because I am going for document category. I am selecting import. I am only going for export of VBELN because ultimately you are only exporting the value of sales order number. Now I will go for list position and screen position. It is totally requirement based. If you do not want this VBELN on the screen position, you can skip also. It's totally your wish. But ultimately, yes, you need to take on list position because ultimately you are exporting from the list position. List screen position before displaying the value. List position when you are hit list display, whenever your values are getting displayed. Now I will activate the second search help also. Now I will go for the creation of a collective search help. So I will go to SC11 transaction code and now I will go for collective search help. Suppose I will write ZSH sales order. Suppose we'll give this thing ZSH sales order. I will go for create. Now I will go for collective search. I will give the description. 
सर्च हेल्प फॉर सेल्स ऑर्डर नाउ आई विल गो टू इंक्लूडेड सर्च हेल्प and here i will pass the name of the elementary search help which we created this is our first elementary search help this is our first elementary search help and this is our second elementary search help now both search help are the part of your collective search help now i will take a parameter in this collective search help because ultimately you need to take the parameter in collective search help because in the program you will use the collective search help so i will take search help parameter vbel now we need to export the values of export the value of vbel so i will go for import export anyways it's optional if you are not going for import no problem because ultimately we are going for exporting the value of sales order now now i will go for data element of vbeln now i will activate now last part is very important because people will not do the last part and they will say my output is not coming i will go to included search help just see here this parameter assignment is very very important just go for a understanding you are going for elementary search help your data in this in these elementary search help you have the table from where the data is coming so in this collective search help you are using elementary search help now in the program we will use the collective search help now the question comes how the values will pass from the elementary search help to the collective search help because in the program you are using collective search help so we need to assign the parameter means this parameter of elementary search help is equal to this parameter of collective search help so how how please do not forget to do this part else there will be no output it's a simple understanding your collective search help has elementary search help elementary search help is giving the result how that result will pass here to collective search help we need to assign that this parameter of elementary search help is equal to this parameter of collective search help this parameter of elementary search help is equal to this parameter of collective search help so suppose if i will tick you will get the full understanding this is our first search help we'll go for parameter assignment and it will automatically show you based upon the name i will go for yes and it is clearly clearly say your collective parameter vbeln is equal to elementary search help vbeln because we gave the same name so sap is doing the automatic mapping if you have different name then you need to pass the name manually yes but because we gave the same name so it is taking automatically extremely important how your sales order number will pass to the search help yes you need to assign the elementary search help vbeln is equal to this of collective search help we will go for copy first done now i will go for second parameter assignment anyways it will show the same to same thing so this is vbeln of elementary search help is equal to vbeln of collective search help now i will simply simply activate done so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we took the requirement based upon that requirement we created two elementary search help by creating the two elementary search help we simply assign the hot key also we pass the parameters the most important is just take care for the export rest part is your wish how you want to do then we created the second search help 
And in that second search help, we did the same to same thing and we took the parameter VP type. After that, I created the collective search help by using the combination of these two elementary search help. Now, after that, the most important part, because in the program, you will not use the elementary search help. You are using collective search help. So you need to define the parameter in the collective search help. Then you need to map also the parameter of collective search help is equal to which parameter of the elementary search help. Then we simply select it and do the parameter assignment. In the next video, I will go for the practical part, means I will use this search help, collective search help in the program and we will see, yes, how we can use the hotkey to make our task easy. So that's part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.